Hello fellow YouTubers, uh, my name is Terry Jones and Lori Williams and I are currently just about finishing up a, um, a course called the Ultimate Jaw Plate Experience. And uh, what I did today was I filmed some pieces for the course and I'm going to show you how I did this particular um, cat. Um, this is done with photo transfer and what you'll see is I explored a lot in here um, of different ways of doing this. Um, I filmed almost all of them, but it was just a really fun experience. And um, I've got a 12 minute video of how I did this one. So enjoy. Hello, fellow alcohol inkers. I'm gonna do a project with alcohol ink on a gel plate. And I'm going to start using a stencil that I particularly love. It's called um, Aqueous Effervescent Broken by PM Artist Studios. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is I've got some alcohol inks here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to throw some inks in over the stencil. Um, and I'm going to just kind of let them become... I've got a, a stamper here and I'm gonna stamp a little bit here. And I've got another stamper with another color here. So I wanna kind of get these in there and I wanna have a nice amount of color, but not too huge amount of color. And here we go. And let me, did I get any yellow in there? Let me put some yellow in there. Uh, we'll just put some yellow in there. Okay. So the idea is that I'm going to let them dry for a second because I don't want them to go underneath. So the, the long, if I dry them for a second, they should be a lot, it should be a lot better. Um, stencils are challenging with alcohol inks because alcohol inks have, uh, are very viscous. They slide really well. But this looks like it might be dry enough now for me. Oh, I'm just making too much noise. So then I'm going to pull it up. And so I've got this lovely texture happening. And I can even throw a few like more textures on by just going through like this. But I really like that texture. Um, and I think I'm going to probably just leave it. Um, do I want a little bit of something in there? A little more over here. I can edit, but I like the texture. So this is going to be the background for what I want to do. And I'm thinking Klimt for some reason. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually put a golden cat on this. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this whole background with a gold, okay? Now, important thing for alcohol inks. I want this background to be fairly intense. I don't want it to be really, really, really light um, or, or pale. And alcohol inks will soak into the paper and be rather pale unless you put some barrier there. So what I have done is I have put uh, just a coat of white on this piece of rice paper. Um, so I'm going to take this and I'm going to put it down and then I'm going to do my first pull. So I need for this to be thoroughly dry before I pick it up. So I'm going to really work hard at getting this nice and dry. I've got my brayer here. Okay, and I can flip this over and you can kind of see what that's going to look like from the background. It looks quite fabulous. Okay, and the next thing I'm going to do, so we'll discuss it first, is I'm going to put this fabulous black cat on the top of the background. Okay, and I may even tint the black cat some color or I may just pull the whole thing with gold. I'm not, I haven't decided yet. Um, you know, I like the idea of the, 
black cat having green eyes. Okay, and um, we'll see when I when I kind of pull the print what's going to be happening. But this is going to be pulled the traditional way with the Mars black. So it's going to be a photocopy. Okay, look at all of these luscious colors that are coming up. And I love the way the gold just works his way down through here. Wow, I love it. Okay, so that's going to be my background. And what you'll see is the colors are, are pretty intense. They're not, uh, they're not that really pale looking. Um, I've done this before without doing the other, um, the white on the background, and as you can see, they just, the colors just kind of fade out a little bit, but I'm really liking this. I like the shimmer. I like what's happening with this. So the next thing I've got to do is I want to pull this little kitty cat. Now, I'm going to pull it with black. So uh, let me, oh, I got to get these things a little out of my way. I'm going to pull it with black. So I'm going to end up with, um, where's my black? Here's my black. And less is more. Less is definitely more with, with, a, uh, with this. So that is more than enough to do this pull. So here I go. And I want to do this very, very, very quickly. So here I put a nice coat on it and then I'm going to lay this down okay and I'm going to take and I'm going to pull it up I wish he was a little blacker but I think it'll work I could have possibly done it a little thicker you can see how wonderfully it worked, but he's pretty, he's pretty fabulous right now. And um, the, now the question is, do I want to, so I'm going to put this guy on here. Do I want to tone the cat himself? I think I do. And being that this has, but I think I'm only going to tone the cat. I'm going to make the cat a little, um, a little more catty, I don't know. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a, I'm going to take a, um, a brush, which I have somewhere here because I just did this a few minutes ago. There we go. Okay, and then I'm going to grab a palette and I'm going to, I think, do the cat in um, a deep a yellow and a uh, kind of orangey it a little bit I think so here what I'm going to do what you'll see is that this cat I can I can tone the cat and the the black stays where it is the black doesn't move the black's dry so I can glaze this with a nice color. So I'm just giving the cat a little bit more life. You know, I could turn it darker if I want it, but I don't really want to. I'm just giving the cat a little more life. I'm going to give a little more color in here. This is, you know, butterscotch is a reasonably dark yellow. So I'm just giving it a yellow tabby of some sort with all of this wonderful stuff. I love the what's happened what happened here with my uh with the cat. I like I like Laurie did these cats. I think she may have done them in uh in uh what's the AI. Give me a punk cat. <laughs> So anyway, these are her prints that she's done, and I love them. 
and I am getting them down here and getting a, a coating on this. And let's put some in here. So let's get a little more, see what happens around here. Now the question is, do I want to put anything else around the cat? Previously, I have done more around the cat. And I don't really 100% like it. So I'm thinking that I don't want to do that. Where's this? So it's going to end up, the cat's going to end up there. I think that's how I want it to work. Okay, I still, I keep on trying to make this cat have green eyes and it's very, I've been very unsuccessful at it. And we'll try one more time. See if I can get a little dot of green in there. Okay, and um, I could put just a little, but it would have to be so faint. I think I'm just going to leave it like this, and I'm going to pull it with a little bit of the gold, but I want to pull it with a very little bit of the gold, okay? So the next thing I'm going to do, this is the Lumiere Gold. So Laurie and I have a, um, a course. This is why we're, uh, you know, I have been, this is going to be one of the bonus things of the course. We have a gel plate printing course that I have been uh, working on. I think I've already done over 40 videos for it and she's done probably the same if not more. So, um, and that course is um, currently, I think, on sale. I think we decided through July it'll be on sale. And it's a fabulous course. It's an absolute fabulous course. So here I am putting this down again. This is just one of the things. I mean, it's, it really covers so many, many things. Look at that. <coughs> I think it's going to be fabulous. It's just going to, I'm trying to make it look like a clint. <laughs> I want the, I like the effervescent, aqueous effervescence, whatever, looks to me like beads falling down behind you. And this cat looked very um, stylized with all of those designs in them, and it just reminded me of Clint, so that's why I'm working on doing this. So let me put this stuff away, clean up some of my absolute disaster of a mess here, and um, I'm going to pull that in a second. What kind of time do we have? Oh, 12 minutes. That's supposed to be no more than 15. I might go over 15. We'll see. So anyway, let's see what happens if I start pulling this. Fun, fun, fun. Okay, so now, isn't that mysterious looking? I like it. I like it a lot. Still didn't get the green eyes, but I like it a lot. Thanks. And please enjoy it. Well, I should actually say that check out our course. Um, I, it will be in the, there'll be a, a link to it. And check out PM Artist Studio if you're in the market for any stencils. Um, they're at PM Artist Studio. And uh, we are at the Ultimate Gel Plate, plate Experience. So I really like it. Thanks a lot.